Welcome to the Shiv TV. So today's topic is how do I make my own website? You know, it's always amazing to have a website. Uh, you could always share it on Facebook, tweet it, call your friends, tell them about your great content. It's, it's much exciting. I know programming now, but when I didn't, I still had a website. And trust me, I didn't pay anyone to create one for me, okay? So this trick is for everyone who want to create a website and don't know programming language. I have already opened webly.com okay so now you can type your full name your email and choose a password and then say sign up and you will be directly in the dashboard where you can create your own website okay so now i already have signed up so i just wanna say login okay uh, let me use my type my email which i have signed up password say login oops yeah we are now in the admin section of webly and for v2 create a website we have to add a client look I already have four clients here so I can say I click on Alex and then say edit so I can edit the website which I had previously created for Mr. Alex for this demonstration I will add another client and give a client name uh, let's say it's Akhilesh and give it a title. If Mr. Akhilesh had an insurance website, I could give the title here insurance and say create site. Now, as this Webly will add this client name and will direct you to the designer platform of Webly. So we are there. Now this drag and drop platform we can use to design our website. Okay. Now we have got a bunch of options here. Uh, like we can go to design and then we can change the theme. We have got many themes available here. And I suppose I don't like this thing. I can say this one. So to give you a preview here. See? Amazing. Another one. Let's try another one. Hmm. Looks amazing. Okay. Let's suppose I chose this thing. So now it's time to add pages. You can go to pages and then let's say add a page. Now let me give it a name. So let's say it. it's about us and say save settings. So there we have our about us. We can again go pages and create another one. So, Save settings. We have contact us page. You can add as many pages as you need. You can even create a drop down menu. So let's say add another page. Give it a name. Insurance. And then say save settings. We have our insurance. Now let's say. Um, since insurance could be like life insurance, home insurance, car insurance, anything. So let's add those pages here. Add a page and give it a title. Um, insurance. We have our car insurance here. 
add another one. Night function. We have seven. Travel insurance. Safety. See, we have home. We have our about us. We have our contact us page, then we have insurance page, car insurance, life insurance, and then in more we have travel insurance. Now we want a drop down menu, and if we bring our cursor on insurance, then we want car insurance, life insurance, and this travel insurance to display there. Let's do it here. Go to pages. Like this is our insurance, okay? And we want car insurance, life insurance, and travel insurance to be drop down when we bring our cursor on insurance. Let's do it. Hold down your left, left click on car insurance and just drag it simply to the right. Leave it there. Leave it there. Okay. Do this for life insurance also. Yeah. Let's do it for travel insurance. There. Push go. And then say save setting. Now we have we bring our customer insurance. It will be like car insurance, IP insurance, travel insurance. Nice man. We want home and then life insurance. Then we want our about us page after the insurance, two pages. Hold the left mouse key on insurance, drag it simply to the home, leave it there, and then say save settings. And you have your insurance now it's home, then life insurance, car insurance. Let's focus on how you're gonna add text, images, paragraphs, all those things, okay. As you scroll down, you see that it's the page is empty. Drag it means here. Drag now with picture. Drag it there. Now we have now give it a name and all you need no no fill up ones. Okay. Select an image, choose an image, you can upload it from your computer, all those things. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm just demonstrating you do that, make your page is Drag and drop, and it's simple. One more thing I want to show you: go to settings, and then this one. This is search engine optimization. You can on this you can type your site description, meta keywords, footer code, header code, three one redirects if you have any. If you don't want this to be indexed by search engines, which of course you don't want, and then you have this option achieve unpublish. Okay, this one when you create a website, you can download it and save it on your personal PC just for your backup, everything. And this is the best option. Okay, I love this one. Just say download and prompt me. Open with or save file as a save file. Do it. Save. That's there, okay? I can open it. I have all my pages here.